everyone is Chukuma from Mastermind Automobile Solutions. Today, I want to talk about five ways you can avoid frequent visits to your mechanic. Yes, we are inevitable. You have to come and see us. We have to fix your cars. We have to maintain your cars. But there are ways you can avoid frequent visits to us. So listen, pay attention as I tell you these five ways. Kindly like our video, leave us a comment, click the notification bell so that you are notified anytime we upload a video. Thank you. So what's the number one way? The number one way is to buy a good car. This Honda Pilot, for example, is a good car. It's going for a good price. If you buy this car, you won't have frequent car mechanic visits. So buying a good car is the first step. You need to buy a good car. You need to have a car properly checked. If you're not that experienced with cars, get a technician to help you check out a car before you buy it. Don't just go and buy a car based on emotions, based on the fact that you like the car, you might run into trouble. So buying a good car is the number one way to avoid frequent car mechanic visits. Number two that we are going to be looking at is that you should ensure you take your car to a reputable place. People that have integrity, people that have a name to protect, you know, a brand that is trying to grow, a brand that is already grown, that doesn't want to, you know, taint their image. It's important you deal with those that have something to lose, you know. Don't go to the roadside where they have nothing to lose. You spent a lot getting this car and then they spoil it for you or they are not careful with repairs and then you're left on your own. So doing a place where you do your maintenance, your repairs for that car is important. You can even do this research before you even purchase a car. So that once you purchase the car, you already know where you're taking it to. The third way is really to take responsibility. You have to take responsibility for your car to avoid frequent car mechanic visits. Keep an eye on your dashboard, detect, you know, things that are not the way they should be. Whatever is off, you should be able to notice, be able to notice difference in sounds of your car. You should be able to know when your temperature is rising. You should be able to know when, you know, whatever is not right so that you can check why or even ask a specialist that this is what you're noticing. I've even seen some people get small scanners for themselves, you know, diagnostic tools, which is really good. Keep it by yourself. It doesn't have to be a complicated scanner. It doesn't have to be something too complex. Just something that you can at least see what's wrong with your car, see codes, and even give it to a more experienced person to interpret for you. Some people that I know far away, you know, some friends or even clients, they are stuck somewhere and maybe they have car problems. The first thing I say to them is, have you been able to do scan? And maybe around them, they may not have where to do these diagnostics. But because they have a small tool, they can easily uh, do that diagnostic, send me the codes and I interpret and fix for them. So it's important to take responsibility for that car to avoid frequent car mechanic visits. The fourth way to ensure that you avoid frequent car mechanic visits is actually to carry out your repairs and maintenance. There are different routines, there are different intervals which cars are supposed to be maintained. It's important to stick to these intervals. It's important to fix your car when something goes wrong before it gets to something more complicated. I take overheating for example. Maybe your car overheats and you detect early. Whatever may be the cause, maybe a fan that is going bad, a stock thermostat can easily be fixed before it gets to levels where it has damaged the top gasket or even the engine block. So it's important that you take your car for routine maintenance and for repairs. For us, when we have cars come in for routine maintenance, we're able to do full diagnostics so that we can check what's wrong with the car, give advance warning to the car owner so that they can either fix or plan for the fixes. You know, so this is very, very important. The fifth way to ensure that you avoid frequent car mechanic visits is to drive carefully. You know, by driving carefully, I don't mean you shouldn't speed, I don't mean you shouldn't race your car, but you can't race it in the morning, you can't be on bad roads and be racing your car, no. You accelerate gradually till your engine gets to optimal and then you race to your heart's content and you drive carefully on bad roads. You know, these are some of the ways you can be careful. You drive, you avoid, um, you know, close driving in traffic situations to avoid causing problems for your car and for other car users. And as a bonus, I'll say follow all our social media handles, Instagram, Facebook, here on YouTube, where we continuously give out tips 
that can make you avoid frequent car mechanic visits. I hope we've been of help. Kindly like our video, subscribe to our channel, click the notification bell so that you're notified whenever we upload a new video. Thank you.